we're getting to know the candidates, not on the trail, but at home. Up first, sixth congressional district candidate Richard Tissay, and he tells our Emily Reamer a holiday movie classic helps inspire him. Above the doorway in Richard Tissay's kitchen is a phrase he looks at every day. It's a wonderful life. A reminder of his favorite movie, one he watches several times a year. And I love the idea that um, uh, you know, George Bailey you know, didn't think that his life mattered or whatever, and he got to see all the things that you know, wouldn't have happened had he uh, not been there. And I, I feel as though you know, the time I spent in public office, um, I did a lot of great things, and I helped move people along and, and, and there would be a void if I hadn't done it. That time in office spans 26 years as both a state representative and state senator. His first campaign started right out of college. A fresh-faced 22-year-old, the first person in his family to achieve a college degree. His age, though, made for some memorable campaign moments. I'd knock on doors. People thought I was the paper boy. You know, here I was, a Republican in a very Democratic town, and people would look at me and you know, they didn't know what to make. Uh, of me. But voters gave him a chance to say won that election. The history making headline also hangs in his kitchen. He's the youngest legislator ever elected to the state house, and over the years he championed whistleblower legislation, increased housing for homeless veterans, and worked on disability issues, a cause close to his heart. One of his three sisters, Debbie, was born with a heart defect. Most people with the condition don't live past their teens. Last month, she turned 53. You know, when you have somebody in your family who's disabled, you sort of see the world a little differently, I think, than most people do. He calls work on those issues his mission. But after running for the 6th District in 2012, a nasty campaign that ended with a narrow loss, he wasn't sure he wanted to do it again. It was his husband, Bernie Starr, who urged him to jump in. I run my life like supporting your dream, so I'm like, yeah, go pursue your dream. And it's a very rare opportunity in life, so you got to just really go for those opportunities. And of course, Bernie had veto power over anything. Uh. They've been together since they met through a personal ad in the newspaper years ago. They run a real estate business together. Last summer, they got married in their backyard. Close friends and family standing by, including dog Mookie. Their support makes this campaign possible. A campaign that could be one of his last, win or lose. Sounds corny, but... Um... Uh, I really want to do this to help save the country, and I don't envision myself going to Washington and being there for 10 or 20 years. I want to go there on a short-term basis to help solve the country's problems. And on a short-term basis, because today feels like he's had a political career here in the state legislature, as well as his business career over the last 20 years, he says it's not something he wants to do forever, Congress that is, he just wants to help now. I'm Emily Reamer, WCVB, News Center 5.